Hey YT, how are you? I am back and yeah, I got my little plaits and everything going on. Two twists, but the reasoning that I'm like this is because I got my package from Finger Comer. Yay! And I opened it, I'm sorry, but I had to see it for myself. But this is what it came in today. Came like this. As you can see. Can't see it see it or not but yeah finger comber okay um this is what I ordered you know I have the kinky comber um weft hair I showed you a video of that uh afro at which I absolutely love that hair is so soft it's so curly and it's so close to mine but I also wanted to get the Urban Bob. So this is the one that I bought. Okay. This also came in the packaging. But this is the one that I purchased. Of course they give you a little information on the Bob and all that. Okay. That came with it also. Okay. I'm excited. I did take it out already. Sorry guys. To see what it looked like. Um, they send you a slip. So if you need to return it for some, any reason, this is the slip that you use to return it back to them, okay? And this is the box, just like everybody else's, has a little yellow bow on it or whatever. I put the bow back on the best that of my knowledge of how, because I actually cut the bow to get into the box, because I had to see. Okay, so anyway, same old box everybody else gets. This is the hair. Like they always send in this, wrapped up in black paper, tissue paper. Okay, and this is the wig. Okay. It comes with a tag on the inside to show you once again what the bob is supposed to look like. And there it goes again, okay. Alright, now, this is... It, this is how the inside looks. Look at the inside, the construction of the cap. Okay, this is the construction of the cap. See that? Let me do it a little bit better. This is pretty much how all the caps come. Except for some of them, they do come with that um, mesh cap or that more like that stocking cap looking kind, the thick one though, sporting cap. But this is how this one looks. It has the little layers of the tracks. It also has a comb at the bottom, okay, and it has a comb at the top. I personally, as I've told you guys a hundred times, I do not like combs, okay? So, um, before I put this on, this is how it looks, let me show you. It's not that long, it is a bob. I, told, I specified for them to send me the fullest and longest uh, one they had in stock so obviously this is what <laughs> the foods that they had in stock so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the comb from the front because I don't want it to take out my hair so I'm gonna remove that and um, then we're gonna put it on and style it up so give me a few minutes I'll be right back okay okay I'm back okay guys and I will show you I removed the comb because like I told you, I really just don't like combs in my head, okay? So what I'm going to, I didn't remove the one at the bottom, but I did remove from the top, okay? So let's try this sucker on. This is as much hair as I left out. I probably got out a little bit too much um, of my liking, but, you know, we can always fix that, I guess. All right, so let's try it on. It does fit really well fits good to my head fits good okay all right now let's pull my hair out in the front okay so this is how it looks pull it down a little bit more and what I'm gonna do is take my hair down around the edges
Um, I purchased this with my own money, as I do with all of my um, wigs that I have had on here. Um, the finger coma did not send me this wig. This is my wig that I paid for myself. So, let's see here. Okay. Now, let's see. I like it, but and I like the texture of it. It looks a lot like my hair. As you see, I already gelled down my hair at the front. I would probably like pin it maybe, maybe in the front, maybe on the sides, I guess I would say more so than anywhere else. Let's see. Let's style it up some. Because I'm, what I'm trying to figure out, do I want to put a little water on it to see what that does? Why don't we do that, guys? Let's put a little water on it and see what that will do to this hair. Because I find that with the finger comber wigs, especially the ones afro-y, if you put a little water on it, it sort of minimizes it and make it really, really cute. Not that I want it minimized because, hell, I like it like this, too. This is really, really cute, okay? But I'm not really used to my hair being this short, even though I know it's Bob, okay? So, let's put a little water on it. Okay, that's how my hair looks in the front of it. So, you can tell that it matches it real good. I mean, I can see myself doing a couple of things off my face with it and all of that, so... Yeah, I could probably put some nice twist up in here, too. But anyway, here's the water bottle. Let's see what happens with the water bottle. And what I'll do is just sort of like do one of these numbers on it, like I do on all the other ones that I got in front of them. See what happens. Okay, so you get a nice, somewhat decent curl pattern. The only thing I'm not digging is the ends, um, and it is shedding a little, you know, but that's to be expected as far as I'm concerned. Let's first spray a little bit more on it. I really want you guys to see what it looks like when I put the water on it so you'll know if that's something that you would want to do. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back after I've sprayed the whole thing down and got it together. But anyway, that's how it looks with the water on it. So I want you to see how it looks after it dries. So, But just to give you some overall feel of how it looks with the water, that's how it looks. Which I like. See how the water, it defines whatever little bit of wave that's in there, it, sh it shows it, okay? Don't pay my, any attention to my hair because what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend all of this together and then I will be right back, okay? So I'm going to put some more water on it. I'm going to see what that does with it and I'll be back with the finished product, okay? Be right back. Hey guys, all right, I have put the Urban Bob on and I absolutely love it. Do I have a couple of issues with it? Yes, I do. We're going to run through those quickly. Um, but all in all, I love this wig and I will be wearing this wig a lot because this looks way more closer to my texture, I think, a little than the Urban um, Comer. Um with wig that I made the other day. I really, really love it. This is my hair out here in the front. As you can see, it looks really natural. I don't think anybody would know that this is not my hair. Okay. Um, headband and all. Um, let me give you the rundown on it because this was not an easy thing. I thought this was going to be a wig that all I had needed to do was put some water on it form it the way I wanted it, or let it dry, and go. 
as you see when I first put it on those ends of my hair was terrible I don't know if that was because I asked for the longest one she had um, and maybe they didn't cut the ends off of mine um, I don't know and I asked for the fullest one I think she just sent it to me as is I asked for the fullest longest one she had in stock that's what I asked for um, so maybe that's the case but all in all these ends were terrible so I'm gonna jump right to that I as you see I put a lot of water on it and that's where I got the wavy curly look okay then I went through the ends section by section finger combing it with water on it to get the kink it's not even a kink it just felt rough okay so I went through each end to get some of the roughness out and it was coming out but yet it was still leaving me with this fuzz ball at the end okay so what I decided to do was take some of this okay my favorite Shea Moisture Curl Enhance Smooth okay that's this stuff works on anything okay I figured maybe if I put that on there, it would soften it up some so I went section by section I put in two fingers through the jar dipped out a little bit rubbed it through my fingers and went through a section at the bottom not the whole head just the bottom where it was just a poof ball went through it section by section about four sections of it then it spritzed it with some more water and then I finger combed it one more time I didn't get a lot of hair this is all the hair that I got believe it or not that is not a lot of hair okay it's very little hair so that's good for like the shedding part of this okay I went through it and then I tried to let it air dry as you know it's going to leave that whiteness residue but you know it's going to dissipate after a little while this hair dried very fast um which i'm surprised i mean it dried really quick okay now once i did that i can definitely tell a big difference it's not as poofy it's, it's more maintained it's manageable this is the back of it okay um much better than what it was it it almost looked like a chopped kind of cut which I did not like either so that was one of the reasons why I tried to blend it with my fingers to get it more where when I did put it on I didn't want to have to do too much to it okay and that was one of the reasons why I got it because I didn't want to do it I just wanted to throw this thing on and go okay so that part I was not happy with okay the ends I am not happy with but I, you know what it is softer now it feels so much better it was like crunchiness I can't even explain it. it was very very crunchy but once I did what I did to my hair it feels wonderful it's soft now all the way through opposed to just the top now you know when you get afro -y hair if you're a person that wears your hair natural I'm not gonna walk around with my hair wavy like this and then my ends looking horrible if your ends are looking horrible you need to cut them off that means you're you have split ends that's pretty much how this looked like I had split ends okay but I fixed it and I like it and it's gorgeous and it looks nice on me I think it does I love it I love it I love it I love it now let me tell you let me read this information card to you for those of you that are thinking about getting it particular wig I'm just gonna go through the part of how to take care of it it says to avoid tangling finger comb thoroughly before and after each use pay particular attention to the hair in the nape area which can always be easier to become tangled when wearing wigs or weaves okay you can also carefully comb through it with a large tooth comb to wash your twists your unit twist it in eight large twists then fill a basin or large bowl with warm water add a tablespoon of shampoo and two tablespoons of conditioner and wash gently as you would a delicate sweater follow this with rinsing in cool water once the unit is completely air dried untwist finger comb style and enjoy so you know one thing you're gonna have to do remember it's a tablespoon of shampoo and two tablespoons of conditioner you can comb this with a large tooth comb um they do suggest that you put it in eight twists when you wash it i don't plan on wearing this in a twist even though this hair is nice enough to twist it and wear a twist out i didn't really buy it for that i really had it for like a wash and go kind of look because i'm more of a wash and go type of um natural i don't really like to twist like that that's just not my thing but you know push come to shove if I do I might purchase the other wig that they have the Havana hair now on um, a wig that she made so I might purchase that one but anyway um so it was the ends that's the way you twist it I put in curl 
um, enhanced smoothie in this hair. Um, it didn't have a lot of shedding, which was great. It blends in with my hair really well, which I like. Um, so this is a wig that I definitely will be wearing a lot of. Um, I'm going to wear it for four weeks, and then I'll be back to um, give you an update on it. But all in all, I'm loving it. I'm going to have to give it a thumb and a half, only because of the ends of the hair. The ends were terrible. I'm not going to lie. I did, they did not send me this wig. They, I paid for this wig, as with all the wigs and hair that you see. Nobody has sent me anything, which is fine with me. Um, but as for, it's, this is not an initial review either. This is just me, like a show and tell, putting it on and showing you guys. And um, I think it looks wonderful. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, and I'm definitely taking this out of town with me. But I shall pull it back again. You see that? That's my hair out on the sides. Okay? Which you can't really tell. So if the wind blows, it's not a big deal. I will have to put a pin in it. I did take the comb out at the bottom because I felt like it was tangling. It was tangling as I was untangling. So I, I took it out. I don't have any kind of anything in my hair. But I will put a pin or two in it when I go out of town with it. Because I don't want it to fly off my head. But, you know, hey. It's gorgeous. See that? Gorgeous. I will have some pictures posted at the end of the product on the hair because I took some pictures of it. I will show you how my hair looked in the front. I did use a little gel just on the tips of my hair, not necessarily at the root down here because my hair is so fine. To put gel down here, it would not work. It wouldn't even cover up the front of this. So, you know, for me not to do that, let me get you a little close up. See how that looks? You know, this is my little hair right here out. And, um,. As you see, it blends in perfectly. I love this. Love this hair. It's soft. It's lightweight. It's not heavy. That's one of the other things. It may look like a lot of hair, but it is extremely lightweight, and I love that. So, anyway, this is it. This is all I have to really say. I will leave um, the website at the bottom of the page, and stay tuned for the pictures, okay? All right. Ciao, Bella.